it's working. Okay. Hairspray Live, going to air on NBC Live here uh, early December, December 7th. Tell us about how this one's going to be different than the other three that you produced for NBC. Well, I think uh, by nature of the fact that we're standing on the back lot at Universal just signifies how different it is than the other two because uh, about 40% of this show is going to be taking place on the back lot as opposed to sound stages, which is quite remarkable, even more so than, than what Bree Slide did. So we're, we just have a much bigger footprint on this. How do you convince so many big name stars, along with some of the newcomers that you have, but the big names, how do you convince them to do something like this? Because it takes weeks out of their, their year. Yeah, well, we're, we're very lucky that Hairspray is such a iconic piece of material, and I think people love Hairspray. And uh, we went to people that we felt could handle the, the pressure of doing live TV. So we have a mix of people that have done Broadway, that are recording artists that are taking their chances now in uh, a new medium. And then we have some people that are just completely fearless about it. And so when you make the call, we were surprisingly met with uh, all of our first choices because we couldn't have asked for a better cast. And uh, how do we convince them? It didn't take a lot of convincing because I think the more that we've done this over the years, I think the more established a genre it's become. And I think people get more excited about doing it, especially this year with Hairspray. So we were able to kind of reach out to people that, that we felt we had a good chance of getting. And, and happily, a lot of them were very big stars and I think will create a lot of buzz and, and a lot of excitement about watching it. With the indoor and outdoor aspects of yeah. this one, and some big production numbers, what what production number out of all of them are, do you look at as it's staging now and go, wow, I can't wait for the audience to see this one? I, I you know, it, it one of the best numbers in Hairspray is Welcome to the 60s, and, and it's the real Cinderella moment for Tracy and Edna where they transform, where they, where they leave their dowdy lives behind and get glamorized, and... It is a huge number out in the street, and I think it's going to be our first number that's really out in the street and kind of bold with lots of dancers and big camera angles and a lot of production values. So I think that should be the moment. As you've done three of these and now got the fourth one, what what's the moments like for you after one is over? What what do you, are you in a celebratory mood, a reflective, or you you can't wait to go home and get a nap? I mean, what what you, you mean immediately after? Immediately after. Immediately after. Uh, I can't wait to go home, but then again, when you go home, there is the anticipation of reading the numbers the next morning and getting that phone call. Mm -hmm. So it kind of it is a very restless night. So depending upon how it goes in the morning will be dependent on if I get a nap in on <laughs> on Thursday morning.